Here we're seeing your club face relative to the path you're swinging on tends to be a little bit too open um, and then you'll overcorrect, and then you get it a little too close. So we'd like to try and get it a little bit closer together. Your angle of attack's pretty good for that club. Is that six iron, seven iron? Six. So your angle of attack's pretty good. Um, we just have a hard time matching the club face to the path. If we could get that closer, now your shot dispersion would be much less. You'd be having an easier time to play. So this position here, the club face relative to the path is quite open, okay? We'd like to see it a little bit more like this. Okay. And then from there, then you would just rotate your hips and torso and pull through, and now the face of the path would be closer to zero. Okay. Okay, so it'd be a better match. Now, there's different ways to do it. Some players like to get the face, they get to the top, they do a little bit, they go into flexion a little with their left right. wrist. As they come down, they get the club in this position. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it's sort of parallel, a reference point, it's parallel to your spine. Right. Okay, and then you just go ahead and then rotate through, your body releases the club. Mm -hmm. Conversely, some people, you tend to prefer a slightly cupped position at the top. Mm -hmm. Something wrong with that, you're just gonna have to do that much more. Right. Alternatively, you could get the left wrist a little flatter, more in line with the shaft and your left arm, so that now when you came down, as this comes, face will get a little bit more there on its own naturally. Right. Okay, either way, th there is no one way to do it. You just gotta figure out which you prefer. But what I want you to focus on is halfway down in the downswing, I'd like that face to be a little more parallel to the spine, okay. so that then we'll get the face closer to the path, then you're gonna have less dispersion. And your good ones, the, the last good one there, you know, they're almost matched up perfectly, which is really good. You just wanna be more consistent with it, but your brain, it's going to have a hard time doing that consistently if the face isn't coming down the same every time. So no, less toe up, more parallel to the spine. Try a few of those. Okay, so the face was better on the way down. You just helped it a little with your hands, hence the hook. The goal here is, see how we've alleviated, there's no right, those shots, none of those shots have gone right. So obviously we've eliminated one side of the course, it's easy to play with one miss, but once this face is here, you'll be able to have the sensation a lot more through impact. Face is square, your hips turn, your torso turns, and it's much more of a hold in the release. Mm -hmm. It's much less need for a lot of face rotation. Right. The more stable this face is gonna be through here, mm -hmm. the tighter your dispersion on shots, the more Got consistent it. you'll be. Just keep doing that, you're doing good. Better, and now's a draw. Yeah. That's really good. So you've overcorrected, which is a good thing. At least you're listening and you're doing what I want you to do. But we want to see this number face to path closer to zero. And the face angle number being that far left also tells me that's you slamming the face shut. So we can get those, the face is probably going to be a little closed, that's okay. But let's get this face to the path uh, closer to zero. That's going to stop the left shot. So you're going to definitely need to have a sensation of holding through, through there. And that'll make this number get more towards zero, okay? Fraction open, it's pretty, that's square, swing a little more left. Okay. You can swing a little more left with that. You're gonna make, that's gonna be really good. That was pretty much a straight push. Okay. Now 0 0.4, great. Face of the path, really good. Got the nice shot out there. Mm -hmm. That's gonna make your dispersion way more consistent mm -hmm. through the bag, that's not just with a six or a seven iron, but right. with every club, if you can get that relationship better, you'll have more ball control, but that's, mm -hmm. that's really good. So whatever that feel is to you, right. we need to duplicate that. Okay. All right. We've touched too much versus the last right. one, but not bad. So the, the main thing I want you to work on, we want to get, the goal is to get the face square to the path. As right. we saw, your shots were much better when the face of the path was close to zero. Mm -hmm. um, the goal for you to be able to do that, get that club a little more parallel to your spine, halfway down, you know, where release point starts. I don't mind how you do it, whether you do it at the top with more of a flat left wrist, it may feel bowed to you, but it's not, or whether you do it in transition with a little bit of flexion and rolling that, turning the wrist down to, to get the club back to parallel, and then from there, go ahead, 
lead with your hips and then turn through with the torso. So it's a more of a body release. The face is square, you can go ahead and release through it. Whereas before, the face was too open to the path. If you'd gone and rotated through, it would have gone way, way right. So then you'd slam the face, but to match those up is difficult. You'll be much more consistent, face close to the path, okay? Uh, look forward to seeing you again.